Step 1. Setting up the test topology with TestShell Resource Manager. On the left hand side within the Resource Explorer, we define all the equipment that may be used within the lab. It can be traffic generators, different routers, switches, servers, and others. Also, we store all kinds of different topologies that we may want to use through our different tests. So let's create the topology together. I'll go to the lab, create a new topology in here. Let's double click on it and go to the diagram. We want a router and we want that router connected to a traffic generator by Ixia and a traffic generator by Spirant. Now all I need to do is link up the ports. So I'll take my first port from the router and connect it to the Ixia. And I will take another port from the router and connect it to the Spirant. Now I can calculate the path in order to make sure that I can get a connection between my port from the router to my Ixia port. And that is how quick it is to generate the topology. Lab management allows us to optimize utilization through its central management and ability to lock different resources. This combination allows the efficient sharing of test equipment between multiple team members. Reduction of time and effort comes built in through the automatic configuration of the different topologies and through the fact that the resource manager is already integrated with the rest of the test automation applications, giving us direct benefit. Step two, creating a test scenario without programming with TestShell Studio. Let's see how we put together the test scenario within TestShell Studio. We'll start with an empty canvas and start dragging and dropping the different steps of the test. Our first step is to activate the topology. So we'll drag that right in. Our next step, we have a function that we created and we want to ping the equipment. Now, if the ping went well, then we want to declare a pass. Otherwise, let's declare a failure, send an email, and stop the test. We want to configure our device under test. And now we want to run in parallel the traffic generators. So we'll take down from the flow the parallel and insert the traffic generators. We want to execute the Ixia and we want to execute Aspirant. Now from the data that came back, we need to pull out and parse the actual information that we need, both from the Ixia and from the Spirant, and define our pass-fail criteria. Finally, we want to release the equipment that we used so that others can use it. So I'll just drag in the deactivate topology and our last step, dive into the case and just define its condition. So we just created the whole flow of all the different combinations. Each one of these steps is actually a wizard that contains all the different parameters that are necessary in order to configure uh, the actions. TestShell Studio is a truly user-friendly drag and drop test creator, allowing generation of automation without programming skills. This has allows the test engineers to join the effort and to generate massive amounts of tests in a minimal amount of time. Having the TestShell Studio being event-driven, supporting parallel sequences easily, and having variable dynamic values translating from one step to the other allows these test engineers to create robust automated tests. The combination of these with reusable test scenarios, regression and test management, and organizational knowledge sharing put together a very powerful framework, reducing the amount of time it takes to generate automation with a very high coverage of automation. Step 3. Scheduling a test for execution with TestShell Scheduler. 
let's see how we can schedule execution of a test shell studio test. I'll select the duration of execution, click new reservation, select a test shell studio test. So I can select my traffic loss test that I was looking for. Can give it a quick description if I want and reserve the test. When arriving at that time, the test shell scheduler will communicate with the station, give it the command to launch the test. The station will launch it and will return the results both to the database and directly to the scheduler. With scheduling, we can maximize execution time and optimize the utilization of test equipment. Tests can be executed 24 seven, overnight, over the weekends. Equipment can be better coordinated in order to maximize its utilization. In general, there's a reduction of the effort of the team since everything is controlled in a central environment, whether it is local or networked. Step four, automatically executing a test in a click with Test Shell Runner. The Test Shell Runner is used in order to execute and record all the data that comes from the execution of different tests. Let's start the execution by simply pressing run. The test runs through an initial validation, sets into activating the topology, communicating with the test shell resource manager, making sure the equipment is available. The ping function is executing and making sure we can communicate with it. We're configuring the router and starting in parallel the traffic, getting the statistics from both of them. Finally, we release the equipment and all the results were recorded and stored into the database. The runner can be set into external control where it can be launched through the test shell scheduler or through a command line interface. In order to generate a log or a report, we query the database. The report is separated into diff different sections. Each one of these sections is completely configurable. I can see a high level executive summary showing the main level steps of the ping function succeeding and the aspirant and the ixia conditions. And in the details, I can drill in and see what was going on. If I want to drill down to the ixia criteria, I can just click it. And as a hyperlink, it takes me directly to the condition of the ixia. And I can see all the raw data that's been saved during the execution of the test. Step five. Analyzing and aggregating test data with TestShell Insight. TestShell Insight is a web-based application displaying dashboards and reporting of advanced aggregated information saved within the TestShell database. The dashboards are completely configurable, just the way that I'm building this dashboard right now. Dashboards can be public or private. They can be aggregating information in the executive level to get quality control of what's going on within our uh, different departments and labs and they can drill down to actual measurement data and see how this data has been changing over time. Different event mechanisms can be uh, implemented on top of this data in order to get warnings of exceedings of yield and in other types of information. The power of Tesla Insight comes behind the ability to standardly save information within the Tesla database. With Teshel Insight, we get true enterprise visibility and quality control through the standardized database holding all of the information. Online test results and trends are immediate to display. Everything is highly customizable, both in the query level, the dashboards, and the reports. All of these combinations, together with integrated alerts and notifications, provide a true quality monitoring environment. Combining easy creation of tests, total management of them, execution and scheduling, data aggregation, and final quality level reporting generates a true end-to-end -end test automation framework. Reducing the time to market, improving the quality of the product, and reducing total expenditures, test shell test automation generates true benefit.